Hi, Bruce Becker here up at Drumeo headquarters, and I wanted to bring forward a topic that is near and dear to my heart, and that is the development of technique. It's what I've been doing now for 37 years. Been very fortunate to work with some great guys through my years, and uh, I just want to bring forward a few steps, three easy steps that might assist you in pushing your technique forward. I've seen many people approach the instrument and in a way that could be harmful, detrimental, can injure yourself, you might be hitting a wall, you might find yourself not being able to execute exactly what it is you hear. So in terms of throwing something out, I wanted to be very clear cut and tangible and give you a few things to think about and process and hopefully that'll make a little bit of a change and shift your playing to a different direction. So first and foremost is what I see is very critical is finding the balance of the stick. Now once you find it and you can work with it, that doesn't mean you always have to play in a balanced position. You can move it around. It doesn't need to stay static there. But in general terms, you do want to honor that. That's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Make it easy. Take the path of least resistance. Don't work against it. If you find that, that place of balance and you are able to let go, you will find that the stick will actually bounce for you and you don't have to struggle and fight against it. So that's the first thing that I would sort of address as a critical uh, uh, element of housing the stick. I see a lot of guys pinching and put, applying so much pressure that the stick is wedged so deep into the hand that there's no separation between the actual pivoting uh, potential of the stick and the hand unto itself. So find the balance, work with that, and see if that starts to make the paradigm shift that you're looking for. One of the second things that I see that I think you can make an easy transfer to is to find the motion. So in essence, what comes down must also come up to come down. So you wanna find that cycle of movement so you're able to come up and down easily and use that element to choreograph many of your movements. If we're just speaking about plain old simple eighth notes, you can make it a downstroke or an upstroke to a downstroke very easy, no problem whatsoever. You have to learn to let go find the fanning or the waving nature of the stick and wrist and use it to your advantage. If you're playing eighth notes, like I said, or 16th notes faster, you're gonna use that element of motion. You wouldn't wanna power down and try to play 16th notes and just from your forearm and wedge into the hi-hat. That's not gonna last very long. You'll maybe last about three bars before your arm starts to give out. So find that up to downstroke. It exists in every rudiment. You can find it down and upstroke and orchestrate that to your advantage to find the flow, which is most important. That's really what I try to uh, embark upon with every one of my students is to assist them on their path of developing a flow. The third and final thing that I see is the disconnection of the fingers from the stick. In other words, a guy's holding the stick here and his fingers are not really able to move naturally with the pivoting stick. That can create some, what do you want to say, technical flaws, some movement flaws that may interrupt what you're trying to execute. So when you're going down that path, a simple exercise to develop that is just to use what I call a fulcrum wrist bounce. With your fulcrum, in the German position, mainly being your middle finger, but assisted by your index finger and thumb, working in tandem with your wrist, and they are synchronized in their motion to open up the stroke. But watch my fingers. They are following the body of the stick on every single note. I don't want them to flail away and move away from the stick. If you can create that harmony of movement with stick and fingers, that can be also of great assistance. That can actually, all three of those things working together can really set you on a path to push you forward. Again, doing nothing creates nothing. You gotta get out and apply that. But if you just sit down and understand a little bit of the dynamic of the up and down, get a little bit of the bounce, reposition your stick, that can make a huge difference in what you have going on. So if you wanna expand on any of these three notions I put forward, Take me to task, come and join my Drum Technique Made Easy course. Click the link below and you'll find a great course that will advance all your technical skills, find more fluidity, the path of least resistance, and push your game up where you maybe thought you couldn't bring it before. Remember, you gotta put forward the effort. I'll be the coach pushing you ahead and I have an organized approach that will assist you all the way through this process of the course.
Once again, Bruce Becker here, inviting you to take advantage of drum technique made easy. Click the link below. Love to see you down the line and interact with you during the whole course. See you real soon. Peace.